Welcome to Just Cook Something. In this video, we're going to make banana artisan bread. Details in the description below. So the first thing we're going to need is two ripe bananas. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar. And then we're just going to mush it all with a fork. Next, we're going to add one egg and mix it in with the bananas. along with one cup of water, and the water should be 115 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and then we're just gonna mix it all in for about a minute. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of activated dry yeast. And we're just gonna continue mixing for about a minute. And then we're just gonna wait for about 10 minutes for the yeast to grow. And then after 10 minutes, we can start mixing again for about a minute. Next, we're gonna add three cups of flour. Now, depending on the size of your bananas, you might need a little extra flour. So start off with three cups of flour and then add a little extra from a half a cup to one cup if needed, depending on if your mix becomes too wet and sticky. So after mixing it fully, it looked like I needed an extra cup of flour, so this is when you would add it. Alright, after a quick mix, we're just going to cover it with a saran wrap and then put a cloth over the bowl, and then we're just going to leave it for one hour. Alright, so this is what it looks like after an hour. Next, we're gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt with a quarter cup of warm water. Let the salt dissolve and then pour it into the bowl. Ideally, you should add this when adding the flour, but I totally forgot to do that. It's not a big deal, but that's what happens when you experiment with different bread recipes. So after a minute of mixing, we're going to cover the bowl with a saran wrap and then we're just going to put a cloth over it and we're just going to let it rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to take out the saran wrap and then we're going to start mixing it again. So just fold all sides and just keep folding it in, pushing it down and try to make sort of a ball inside the bowl. And then we're going to cover it again and let it rest for an additional 30 minutes. Alright, after 30 minutes, we're going to mix it again one more time. So just keep folding it in and go in circle motion by folding each side of the dough. And then we're going to set our dough on the side and get our cutting board ready. So we're gonna put a lot of flour on the board because this dough is sticky with the bananas all in there. And then we're gonna sprinkle some more flour on top of the dough itself and then get our hands nice and floured up. And then we're gonna flip it over and try to fold it inwards and then use the flour on the board to kind of roll everything into a ball. And after about a minute, it will start to make its shape into a ball. So once your dough is shaped to your liking, we're going to put it back into the bowl with some parchment paper. And then we're going to sprinkle some flour on top of the dough and just rub it on there. And then we're just going to cover it with a cloth and move on to preheating our oven with our Dutch oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And just before we put our dough into the Dutch oven, we're going to just do our quick design of our dough. So I'm just going to do a basic cross. And then we're going to take the Dutch oven out and carefully put in the dough and cover it with a lid. And then we're just going to bake it for 35 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then after 35 minutes, this is what it looks like. And it smells amazing. But we're not done yet as we have to take off the parchment paper and bake it for an additional five minutes. 
And after five minutes, you'll have a nice golden crust. You might be eager to cut this open right now, but you have to wait at least 10 minutes. Maybe 20 would be better. I couldn't wait much longer, so after 10 minutes, I had to cut it. In terms of texture, it has your typical artisan bread crust that is soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. But for flavor, it's not your typical banana bread. It's not overly sweet, but there is a subtle banana taste to the bread. Try it with raspberry jam, peanut butter, or even Nutella, and it makes it a great breakfast alternative. Or maybe a midnight snack. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Take care.